Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be making a bunyip. Um, bunyips or water levels or Egyptian levels are a really simple form of um, or a simple tool to find the difference in height or difference in elevation from two different points. Um, we're going to be making some a little bit oversized. We have the key components, uh, a hose, clear hose that goes between two posts and then we have um, some staples to put the, uh, put the hose onto the boards. Um, a hammer to put them in and a square to make sure we keep our lines uh, going across. Now a bunyip is a really simple, uh, simple tool. All it does is me measure relative change. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these boards and we're going to go from the top, we're going to measure with our tape, go down, and we're going to mark off each inch. And in doing so, we're giving ourselves a, a good reference point. Uh, once we have lines on there, then we're going to mount the hose like this, and it'll go down to the end of the to the end of the post and travel along and go up the other one. Um, once that's done, we'll fill it with water, and we're done. We have ourselves a water level. So the first step is, like I said, to take your measuring tape and bring it down and start marking. You can do uh, every inch or every other inch. We could do this in metric. It really doesn't matter just as long as both posts have the same markings. And then I line them up at the bottom so that they're, uh, so they're flush. And from there I can just take my square, my speed square, and come across both of them. Since we want them to have the same markings, we want to mark them at the same time rather than take my measuring tape and then go and do marks on the uh, on the other one. And since uh, we're really only measuring uh, relative elevation changes, it doesn't matter if they're inches or some arbitrary number. You could just go down the first one and mark however many increments you felt like and then just relate that to the other side. So you also, um, you don't have to go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top. Really the, the middle section is where the water is going to be most of the time. Um, but for reference, we're going we're gonna to mark the whole way up to about a foot from the bottom. There's lots of different ways to do it. Some people will use, they'll just buy some cheap measuring tapes and they'll nail them to the top and then string them down and nail it along the way. Uh, that works also. But uh, this is just as easy for me, and uh, the dark black lines give you a nice reference. Um, after some time, the, the, the hose will get a little bit cloudy, and to see through it, it's nice to have a lot of contrast, so you have a nice dark black line. If your bunyips do get cloudy, um, it's probably because of mineral deposits, and you can remove those just by running vinegar through there. Um, you can pour in you know, a half cup or something like that, and then just swish it back and forth until it goes away. Um, you can do that with your coffee maker, too. <coughs> so this hose ended up being in the shade, but if you put it in the sun for a little while, it becomes a lot more flexible. And we're using much thicker uh, diameter hose than you need. Um, it allows for quick fills and um, uh, and is a little bit more durable since we're, we tend to throw ours around a lot. Um, the weak points on the bunyip are going to be where where the last staple is. It'll tend to fold a lot there and if it kinks um, the water doesn't move through and you end up um, not being having true levels if it's kinked. So that's one of the, the important things but we'll get to sort of bunyip, bunyip use and, uh, and little technical details later. Um, this is another time when uh, we can either write the numbers on right now, or um, we can um, put mount the hose. Um, and I think because we're using big hose, I'm actually going to write, do the numbers first. Um, one of the things about writing with a permanent marker on wood is that the wood absorbs it and it bleeds really heavily. So you have to make um, really big numbers or it'll be um, in, unintelligible. Um, so now I've 
I've stapled up one of the posts and um, as you can see again we have this a thick hose on here so some of the numbers are blocked off but it, it won't matter too much because it's not a delicate reading and again the um, the biggest points that we have problems with these is down here at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another staple just below this one to really sort of firm it up and try to keep from having it pinch too much I'm going to tilt it a little bit to the side and that'll give us some angle nah, I guess I can't do that with this thick pipe So, and for the second, we'll just stretch it out, run this one up to the top, and start over again. Now, all the materials for this can be picked up at the local, uh, at your local hardware store. There's nothing real fancy about it. These clips are actually. Um, for uh, putting up electrical wire. Um, I think they're, what's the actual name? It's cable staples, and that's exactly what they're for. Um, there's other ways to mount this. They have um, actual staples. You can use a staple gun, um, or you can, um, you, they have bigger staples that you can hammer in, but I find these to be really easy to work with, and um, the plastic on here is kind of brittle so that the tube lasts longer than the, the staples do usually. And I'm setting these kind of arbitrarily at about 20 inches apart, depending on how thick your hose is and how, uh, how thick the wood is, um, you might want to change it up. Um, it can be more or less. I'm probably going excessively on these, but you can do one uh, every two feet or so, and that's plenty. All right, now we have a set of bunyips. So when filling a bunyip, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Most of them will give you, uh, will give you bubbles. My favorite way to do it is, to, is a little bit more wasteful as far as water goes, but it's a minimal amount. And that's to just take uh, a garden hose, um, hook to a spigot, and I just put it right up on top of the hose and let the pressure push the water through. And as long as you have a good seal up here, as long as you push it down far enough, it won't suck any water into the system. And so it'll just blow all the bubbles right out. And uh, I've found that to be the, the easiest way. Some people use a funnel and that takes a long time. Um, but I'm more, get right to it and just blast the, blow the bubbles out. So in filling the bunyip, we're just going to use a garden hose. And you can lean one, one end up so that it's, um, so that the water won't, you know, it's not laying down on the ground. And then I'm just going to take and mash the hose right up on here. And as long as you make a good seal, you're covering up all the bubbles, keeping out the bubbles, and um, that looks like that's going to be as good as we can get. And so this this hose is a little bit bigger, so that technique isn't ideal, but. Uh, because it's a bigger diameter hose, the bubbles will move out a lot easier also. So, the way, to, um, the way to find out if you do have bubbles in your system is when you put these together, the water won't bounce coming out, but you'll see in a moment the, where these will level out. And there we go right at about six inches a piece, well, five and a half.